Emerson said that no man has learned anything until he knows that every day is doomsday. Since the fall, I'd faced a few doomsdays, but I'd never faced the imminent detonation of a thermonuclear bomb. Team Alpha's plan was in full motion, and to make matters worse, word of their plan had spread. People had come from miles around, hoping that today they'd be going home. Gather round, everyone. We must be near ground zero to reach the portal. Since no one was listening to reason, I had to find a way to deactivate the bomb. And then it came to me. I could use the EMP itself. If the shielding cover on the warhead was removed, the EMP would fry the internal circuits before it exploded, rendering the weapon useless. Unfortunately, Team Alpha had already planned for this, that someone might have a change of heart. I begged them to reconsider Professor Hunter's theory, told them to wait at least until it could be proven. But the professor had offered them the one thing everyone wanted, hope. Something no amount of logic or rationality could overcome. Poor boy. He's obviously scared. No shame in that. Tie him up. Harold was gone. Didn't know if he'd had second thoughts and bolted, or if he was still fretting over that damn equation. And it didn't matter. I was tied up all the same, for my own good, right near ground zero. That's when I learned the truth about Professor Hunter. Turned out, he wasn't even a scientist. He was a professor of literature, with several moderately successful science fiction novels to his credit. It wasn't a scientific theory behind this madness. It was the plot of one of his novels. At that moment, all I could think was that the professor was some deranged megalomaniac. One minute in counting. We're almost home, people. I actually started praying there was some truth to his theory, that he was a genius. And I was the fool for ever questioning him. Funny what you'll believe when you're facing your worst fears, when you're facing a real doomsday.